I've heard that by the time you earn your four-year degree at a university, you are behind the times because technology is rolled forward in such a way that the degree is almost useless now. Is that true? Or tell me what you know. Again, back to what a, what is a four-year degree and what is a university? And it has turned very much into a business. So, you know, if a business, a business will sell you whatever you want. So students used to say, I want to get a degree. My parents used to always use underwater basket weaving as the most yeah. useless degree, right? <laughs> well, what's happened is the federal government started guaranteeing those loans. So the university said, yeah, we can give you a degree in underwater basket weaving. I mean, they'll sell it to you and someone's there going to teach it this amazing master underwater basket weaver. But what do you do with that? And the answer of what you do with that, I, I met a woman that had an art degree and she was a really fine, great artist, but she spun her art into an entrepreneurial skill. And she said, what do people want? She was really good at drawing pets and animals. And she said, oh, I can offer this service to composite these, to make family portraits with pets that have deceased. So, oh. she, so People want that, right? You miss mm -hmm. your, loved, your loved pet. You maybe didn't get a great family portrait with that. So she can render you. She can draw these, these artist renderings of a family portrait with you and your pet. Wow. That's something people want. That's an entrepreneurial skill. That's where her she used her degree in an entrepreneurial way. So that's the way I'm I'm kind of spinning this because a lot of people think I'm telling them not to go to university or I'm not, not don't, you know, those, those, those universities are, are scamming you, which, okay, maybe a lot are. of them are, but don't, but figure out your return on investment. What, if you want the art degree, if you want the music degree, if you want to be a composer, well, wh who can pay you? Is, is Steven Spielberg going to pay you right out of college? No, but YouTubers may pay you for your music. There are a lot of people that need original music. So you have to figure out entrepreneurially how to roll your passion into something sustainable. And it's not just the job. You know, my, my, my parents always worked for someone. So money was something that your employer never gave you enough of. Yeah. That, that's what I understood money as. Once you understand that money is stored energy and, and money is, 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 is giving is something people are willing to pay you in, in order for you to give them joy. You have to figure out entrepreneurially how you can give someone joy and the joy that they're willing to pay you for. Beautiful. That's entrepreneurship. I don't care if you go to university to get what you need to do that, but you have to do that at some point, or you find a way that you are attractive as an employee to a specific employer. So you can do that whole, okay, what's software engineering? that is really hot it's all it's it's yeah. only more software all the, all the time businesses need employees that are software engineers so maybe that's what i'm going to go into and then doctors and lawyers you know that that whole standard that we're mm -hmm. always going to need doctors we're always going to need lawyers and if you're smart enough and educated enough and driven enough you can be one and you can be well paid 